Wednesday afternoon, we've got uh, some rain to talk about, mainly in Northern California. It's going to be relatively light, obviously, especially in the Bay Area and areas further south won't see anything at all. Um, as you look at the situation, you've got, uh, what do you got? You got your, let me put a little marker on here. You've got this system offshore. Now, this is the one that's going to bring the showers pretty much all the way from Seattle down to about Big Sur. It's not a big deal. Light scattered showers in the Bay Area. Mountains could see, they could get, oh, I don't know, three, three to five inches of snow. Winter weather advisories up around Mount Shasta, up around Southern Oregon, up around Ashland. Wind advisories along the coast north of Cape Mendocino. But it's a low-grade system, so not anticipating too much in the way of any kind of problems. It'd be beneficial rainfall. And again, it's an overnight thing. So it's not gonna have much of an impact on the commutes tomorrow or even the commute tonight. This system here out in the Midwest, out in the plains is creating problems. Severe weather where the two air masses are meeting, the cold air from the north and the warm air from the south. And they're gonna have problems out there for the next couple of days, most certainly. This is the time of year, right? Um, we can take a look at Mount Shasta right now. So this is a little later in the day, more later than I would typically do. I just wanted to put something together for you to address this coming rain. But you're up around Weed, looking back towards Mount Shasta. So that's kind of the north face of Mount Shasta right there. You see the clouds, bunches of clouds out there. Those clouds are lowering down. They have been all day, and that's the beginning of the rain. We could uh, take a look. Let's take, I think we go over here to the model now. And what we can see here is the, what is it? <laughs> north American model kind of a high resolution deal. So it's hour by hour. And you can see right here, this is about mm, this afternoon. And then this is right now, basically. So scattered showers are showing up on the north coast up around Point Arena and north up into Humboldt County. That's the bullseye. And you see it slip through. Here we are basically into 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock tonight. And the system is basically done. So it's kind of just a one and done deal. In Southern California, you don't get anything out of it, right? And then a couple of near misses, but we're in a dry pattern for a while after tonight's system. In terms of um, big snow in the mountains or, or weather for Southern California, not seeing it anytime soon. There could be a few more snow flurries as those weaker systems tweak by. But overall, it's a pretty quiet, pretty quiet deal. So let's see if I can pull this up. This is the the um, Ocean Beach camera. Can't really pick it out right now, but the swells along the coast are pretty light for the most part. Swell conditions uh, at the beaches, it's it basically uh, four to six along Ocean Beach, a little bit bigger in some places. Tomorrow stays the same size for you fishermen. And then on Friday, Boom, the swell pops back up into sort of that dangerous zone, which is about 8 to 10 feet. Looks like they're running some gates up here at uh, Palisades. And I think this is off um, far east. And it's kind of fun to watch these guys ski. The skiing's been pretty good today. Now, I heard last couple of days were unreal because of all the snow they got. There's plenty of coverage now, and they're going to get probably three or four more inches tonight. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then the Eagles, of course, get a break from the weather it's been a rough one for these folks i know they they lost uh um one of the small ones right we had three now we only have two right here and this looks like i think that's mom yeah she's got the little spot on her forehead right you'll see a little black spot if she turns she's there it is right there so that's how you know it's jackie and she's eating away there apparently they're eating coots or mud hens these uh eagle eaglets it's not unusual to lose one. I didn't know that. So you got three in a, in a, in a cup, in a, in a nest, and then it's pretty much normal to lose one of the three. So it's, nature's harsh, but they're going to get a real break up there at the Eagles, a big bear, in that they're going to have day after day after day of warm, sunny weather, plenty of fresh fish for the babies, and plenty of warmth. I think they may have lost, you know, when they lost the first one, I think it was during those big storms, you know, 100 mile an hour winds significant snowfall, freezing temperatures. So uh, they're not going to be up against that. So the, the inclement weather is, is taking a little bit of a break. Okay, that's a quick one, but just know tonight's deal, one and done. Um, it'd be a little couple more days or some more showers on the North Coast tomorrow. But for the most part, for most of California, it is over. And uh, we're going into a warming trend. Temperatures next week could easily hit into the mid-70s. There you go. That's a quick one. I'll see you back.